count on. LEX 18 News now. And the time is 11 a.m. on this Thursday. Welcome to LEX 18 News Now. I'm Dia Davidson. One of the 16-year-old girls killed in a shooting earlier this week is being laid to rest this morning. Adriana Castro and her friend Kayla Holland were killed Tuesday night on East Washington Street in Winchester. Four people were taken into custody and police continue to search for a fifth suspect. Castro's funeral is being held right now at Scobie Funeral Home in Winchester. She will be laid to rest at Claremont Memorial Gardens. The man who entered a guilty plea to the murder of a woman on the grounds of a Pulaski County church is set to be sentenced this afternoon. Dwight Mitchell Bell entered the guilty plea Monday, the August death of Ruthie Carolyn New. New's body was found in the activity center of the Denham Street Baptist Church. He fled the scene and was later arrested in Tennessee. And the man accused of attacking Kentucky Senator Rand Paul entered a not guilty plea in a Western Kentucky courtroom this morning. Rand Boucher is uh, charged with misdemeanor fourth degree assault. He's accused of assaulting the senator while he was mowing his lawn at his Bowling Green home last week. Paul tweeted yesterday he suffered six broken ribs and is suffering excess fluid around the lungs. Paul and Boucher have been neighbors for 17 years. A neighbor told CNN the two had been in a dispute for years over grass clippings. Be sure to join us on air for LEX 18 News at noon. We have the very latest as the city of Lexington makes plans to sue 20 drug companies. Why city officials say it is in response to the opioid epidemic. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast is up after this break. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. It's a beautiful day. For this time of the year, you can't really argue with sunshine and highs and getting into the 50s. So we've got our BCTC live weather by camera uh, looking over at Kroger Field and the big picture satellite imagery. A little bit of cloud cover was hanging in over far southeastern counties early this morning. Uh, that's pretty much gone as well as any showers. So we are drying out. The sun's out. But there's trouble brewing as we go into the weekend. Rain and snow up over the Great Lakes. They've got some impressive uh, snow coming down in the upper peninsula of Michigan. Uh, so that's fired up. And for here at home, there's a cold front tracking in tonight, and it'll basically be a dry frontal passage. It's about 8 and 9 o'clock tonight. You can see those clouds getting a little thicker as that boundary drops south. What this front's going to do is bring very little in the way of any kind of precipitation our way, but it's going to uh, just crank down the cold uh, going into the weekend, and you're going to feel it overnight and especially into tomorrow, uh, especially when you compare highs between today and tomorrow, and then a especially when you look at overnight lows. It's 49 degrees, we're already edging into the upper 40s, pushing 50, and tracking those temp stats, we've had a cold high already. Upper 30s was the coldest we've been in Lexington. That's the coldest we've been this season, coldest high since last March. But we've only gone down into the uh, low 30s this morning and down to 30. That's where we bottomed out. We haven't yet had that uh, hard freeze down to 28 degrees. Well, we're going to hit that and maybe even go lower than that. Friday morning and Saturday morning as this big Arctic high builds in. Coming up, we're going to look at specifically how cold it gets, how long it lasts as we head into your upcoming Veterans Day weekend. Great selection, dependable service, and a competitive.